Hello YouTube, my name is Fred Dalgeron from Inaxis. I hope you're doing well. Um, in this video today, I want to show you how to create a user in the ICT Protégé uh, GX system uh, sold by Inaxis in Canada. Um, and, um, and then this will probably help you uh, show this to your clients or, or do it yourself if you are an end user using this system now. <laughs> So let's have a look. Right now, I'm in the home page of the Protege GX system. To create users or modify users, you want to go under Users, and you select the first item, which is Users. Okay, so in this, I have a blank page. I have no users in my system yet. Uh, you may have seen our previous video where we create and show how to create access levels, which is something that we need before being able to create a valid user in the system. Okay, so let's click on the plus sign here. So here we have first name, last name, and the name field. So Basically, uh, the name field is what will be displayed in the events page, and this is what is stored inside the uh, uh, GX controller, okay? So, I'm going to create myself, like that. So maybe I want to show just the first letter of the first name and the full last name, okay? So that's very easy, right? Um, also, if you are using access control keypads and readers like this, or if you are using the alarm system keypads with the ICT Protégé, uh, you need a pin number, okay? And it's going to be the same pin to access some doors and to log in uh, on the keypad, okay? So just, you just have one pin to remember. Again, it's the beauty of having a fully integrated system like this, okay? So I want to create a very basic pin. You can also auto-generate some pin numbers with four, five, six digits like this. Um, and then basically remember, with ICT, it can be anywhere between one and eight digit PIN numbers, okay? So that's basically my PIN. Um, if you use access control system on site, you need at least one valid card. I'm just gonna invent a number like this. So you basically have the card number, usually is printed on the card, uh, or the basically the list, uh, the start and the end uh, card numbers are also printed on the box of cards when we buy some cards from us. All right, I'm saying cards, but it could be also t uh, sorry, key tags, uh, or a remote with key tags in them, you know, but basically this is seen as a family number, all right, then it's fight a batch, and then you have the card number here, all right? So that's, for a basic user, that's all you need. The next thing you need, and it's gonna be the, the end of this video, is basically add access levels, okay? As I said before, uh, we can add an unlimited access level um, list to a user. Obviously, you want to make a, a system that makes sense. You don't want to create duplicates for nothing, but I can basically drag and drop access level like this, so I can select one and then click OK. Okay, um, no, I just did it twice. So, all right, so basically, um, by default, the access level will be always valid, but you can also make a, a beginning and the end. Uh, let's say if you want to have someone to be um, a master in the system for a week because he's replacing the manager, for instance, okay? But in this simple example, I'm gonna make the access level be valid 24 seven. In any case, the period where the access level is valid or not is also decided by the schedule assigned inside the access level. So this new employee will be now saved in the system. When I hit the save button, automatically the user will be downloaded to the controller or controllers depending on his access rights. So if the access level contains doors of multiple GX controllers, this new user is currently being downloaded to all those controllers and within the next 10 to 20 seconds, depending on the number of users, um, then the user will have access to the doors and areas and, and, and all those things, all right? Again, this was a short uh, tutorial video on, on how to create a user with a pin and a card in an access level in Protege GX by ICT. Again, my name is Fred Bergeron. If you have any questions, comments about this video or other videos, if you have suggestions, suggestions sorry, about what we should do next, uh, please send them uh, comments below and we will answer quickly, all right? Thanks for watching. Yeah.